Peninson, what was the condition of the body when you found it? It's in a state of advanced decomposition, most of the body. Some parts are fairly well preserved. At this point, can you tell whether or not it is Edmund Crimmins, Jr.? I could not possibly identify it at this time. Is it in such a state of decomposition that it could have been here for more than the five and a half days since Crimmins was taken away? Well, I would say that death has occurred between four and seven days ago. The exact time is not statable, but that's a good guess. How soon will you be able to determine that? Well, in the morning we'll have a better knowledge of that. In other words, it'll take you another day to make positive identification? I'm sure it will, yes. Well, we have found here today the body of an unknown white male, approximately five years of age. I think your gentleman has spoken to Dr. Benison, the medical examiner, and he's indicated to you that the body is in a state of decomposition. The body was discovered by a passerby whose identity we have. He was passing through, walking through the woods with his son, a 10-year-old boy, something that he has done on many occasions before. Was there anything unusual at the point of seeing where the body was found, broken branches, etc.? There was no evidence of that at this time. It's deep foliage. It cannot be observed from the air. It, can, it cannot be observed by normal passers-by. It would have to be discovered by someone who is in the habit of walking through this deep foliage.